Hey everybody, it is time for another sketchbook update. So uh, I've been drawing a lot more. I've been a lot more inspired. Uh, so this uh, sketchbook and this update will have a much more positive tone than my previous ones. But let's just uh, get right into the drawings. Um, last one we left off with was the jelly mermaid drawings that I was doing. And for the next set of drawings in here, I did uh, superheroes. So these uh, sketches and everything are all focused on superheroes. So this is the first one that I did as part of like my push for drawing superheroes. Uh, this is Thor, a pretty quick pencil uh, sketch. I used mechanical pencil, same one I always use, Gear Graph 500 uh, with um, HB, just standard HB lead. So uh, yeah, I like the way this one um, turned out. Uh, a few things I don't like, don't like how stiff this arm is. It's really, um, it doesn't look very natural. Uh, I love his face a lot. Like I feel like one of the things I was kind of focusing on is again bringing the viewer down to a lower level than eye level, um, which distorts the head. So it gives you this kind of straight across jawline, which when you it looks right on him, which is why I like this drawing. But when you're drawing this and you're drawing the head, it's kind of like this, like this shape at the jawline which is a little bit unnatural to draw at first, but once you render everything out, it looks right. It looks like he's looking up. Uh, it pushes the angle of the head back. So I like like the way that turned out on this one quite a bit. But other than that, it was pretty, um, pretty straightforward. Just my kind of version. A little bit more of the uh, Thor Ragnarok uh, character idea here. Uh, the short hair and kind of the Viking face paint a little bit, so. Next sketch is this Hulk sketch, which I like a lot. I like the focal point right on his face um, with very little detail in the landscape and the legs and things like that. That stuff just gets pushed. It really creates depth, uh, I feel like, and I really like this one. I like the way it turned out a lot. I actually did a uh, digital illustration, digital painting of this one. I kind of just took a picture of it and put it in Photoshop and then painted it doing that. So I'll post that put that right up there. So, kind of a cool, fun Hulk sketch. Probably the best Hulk sketch I've ever done. So I was doing requests on Instagram, uh, just asking people who they want me to draw after I did these and after I started getting rolling. Uh, several people wanted Spawn. Spawn's a pretty awesome character. Um, and I got, you can see a lot darker on this. He has a dark outfit. So, but again, I kind of, since I like that lack of detail and more of a focal point, like in this area, I didn't do a lot of detail on the legs, uh, but I feel like this is a pretty cool, pretty successful uh, drawing for me. Very dynamic pose, kind of jumping out at you. Um, we're, could have done a little better on the chains, but you know, this is definitely, these are definitely just kind of sketches and stuff like that one. This one took me a little bit longer though, because I had to go so dark. Generally takes me a bit more time. So this one took me a lot longer. This is Captain Marvel um, using colored pencils. I'll show you real quick. My rotring, ring, and it's got red, oh, there's not much left in there, but red kind of colored pencil. And then for the darks, I use blue. So all the shading and stuff in here and on the face and stuff like that is another rotring with blue lead in there. It's kind of hard to see, but that's blue. It looks really dark. So I just use those two colors and then white Prismacolor to do the highlights and stuff like that. So not a lot of colors in this. I did use yellow for the hair, which I normally don't do. I normally just stick with the red and blue and white, but um, I wanted to really show that blonde hair, show her character and stuff. So, and this one's loosely based on the movie concepts as well. But I feel like this is a I went after the likeness of the actress playing her. This one, a lot of people really like this one, uh, which I really like it. My daughter really likes it. It's a great little sketch. Rocket and Baby Groot kind of jumping out at you. Very dynamic. Rocket's got his gun, Groot's got his little flower, so 
definitely a fun sketch. And this this whole week was all uh, good guys. So uh, in a second here, you'll see we get into the villains, and that was all the villain. All these characters are requests from people on my Instagram. So if you'd like to request drawings, follow me on Instagram, Sketchy Trav on Instagram. So now we're into the villains. This is Thanos with Baby Groot giving him the bird. Uh, really fun sketch. I like this one. Uh, Groot, Baby Groot was an afterthought on this one. That's why he's kind of dark. I had to race around there because I, I thought, you know, it's, it's Thanos. It's kind of cool, but I wanted a little bit of a story to this one. And I love that little Baby Groot down there kind of flipping him the bird. I think it's, it just adds so much. Adding little things like that to my drawings really makes it entertaining for me. Uh, it's something I really love to do. So uh, you can see uh, again, square jaw. It's, it's definitely something I focused on. Lowering you, um, your viewpoint down to where you're more on the level of Groot and he's above you uh, was something I kind of, you know, wanted to lower your eye level on him. So he's kind of like king-like and above you. So fun, uh, pretty fun sketch, pretty successful. A lot, all the details in his face and then kind of baby Groot. And that finished off this sketchbook, which was interesting because I didn't have, I had ordered sketchbooks uh, from Jerry's Artorama, but they hadn't gotten here yet. And so I had to switch to some colored paper. Uh, this was a real quick uh, Poison Ivy sketch I did, which you'll see later I revisit Poison Ivy and do a much better job. But yeah, I, I do like my tone tan paper better, although this stuff is kind of fun. It's not too bad. Uh, this is a really fun drawing. I really like the, the way this one turned out. Um, at first I wasn't sure if Lobo counted as a villain, but then I found, read some backstory and apparently he killed everyone on his home world. And for no other reason than just to be the last of his kind, kind of like a uh, spoof on Superman, which is hilarious. Uh, but you can see he's got his space motorcycle. This is very heavy metal, um, you know, cruising across the galaxy as a space biker. He's got a girl slung over his shoulder, which I kind of based her off of Starfire. And I've thought about doing a digital illustration of this one, digitally painting this one as well, because I just really like it a ton. It's got a ton of personality. Uh, just a really fun drawing to do. Drawings like this are really what uh, gets me going. I really enjoy stuff like this. So, um, but yeah, the cool one. Oh, and before I did that one, I actually did this one, and I hated it. I don't even know. Sometimes I just work on drawings and stuff, but this was a terrible drawing. Arms really stiff. Just I liked his expression on his face, which I think that's why I kept doing it but I should have stopped. <laughs> I didn't have a very good, this is a really good point. Don't keep going on a drawing if the underdrawing, the structure of the drawing is terrible. The whole drawing will just turn out terrible. So this is just kind of a case of, I shouldn't have kept going. I should have started over, which I did. And uh, when I liked better, it turned out a lot better, so. So then my sketchbooks arrived in the mail and I got this one. And this is the Poison Ivy drawing I did. Uh, color pencil, this one's full on color pencil. I use Prismacolor pencils for this. So there's a skin tone I used on her. And Baby Groot is in love with Poison Ivy. Uh, so I like the expression on her face. I feel like, I wish I would have done a little bit better job on Groot. Groot was again, something I added because I liked him so much in the after, or in the Thanos drawing. Uh, but he didn't turn out quite so good. It looks like a melted chocolate bar more than a tree creature, but um, I felt like she turned out great. Love the vines, the highlights. Uh, the figure I got absolutely, I felt perfect. Love her figure on this. Um, and that's something I'm really focusing on. Uh, I've been watching some documentaries, drawing documentaries, and some really good drawing videos is that if you're doing something wrong, reference it. I need to reference more. I enjoy drawing from my my mind so much. Uh, sometimes I get lazy, or not lazy, it's actually easier to reference. I, um, I just like to kind of see what I can come up with, but I really need to reference more, because things like this, uh, 
start to come more natural. And you'll see that later in my Catwoman sketches that are kind of all from my head. So, and those, I really like the, the, um, the body, the figure in those a lot too. And they're very dynamic. So this one, I guess, is my own superhero. So, <laughs> I didn't do a, a known superhero. This is like a kind of a cyborg guy. Dynamic pose, like he's jumping over some rubble, uh, chasing after somebody or something like that. Um, so, yeah, kind of just a fun sketch. Uh, here's some quick uh, figure sketches, studying figures. I always study figures and stuff like that. If you follow my channel, this is something I'm always working on. So, and I feel like I definitely have gotten better. I think uh, one of the next videos I'm going to do uh, is a uh, redraw, where I redraw one of my old pieces of artwork and see if I can't do a better job, which I'm pretty sure I should be able to. So, uh, getting back to the villains, this is a Venom sketch, which if you follow me on Instagram, you didn't see these other sketches because I hadn't done them yet. I just posted this. Uh, but this one's pretty cool. I really like this sketch right there. I hate the guy's face below. I was kind of doing the Brock uh, without the mask on or anything like that. But that one right there, I really like. Um, feel like that's what I would go for if I were illustrating Venom in a comic book. Something a little bit more alien. And uh, yeah, I just really like that one a lot. And this is the most recent one. And this is Catwoman. Um, bunch of just pen and ink. The center one is the one I spent time on, and the rest of them are just kind of quick sketches, including that face right there, uh, which the eyes are a little wonky on, but whatever. It's still, it was fun. One thing I have decided though, doing these pen and ink ones, is that I prefer the brush pens, the real fine. Um, so I have several right here. Let me get this one. I prefer this one. And this is, it's kind of got a rubbery handle, um, but it's, you can get r like your line width and stuff like that. Uh, gets really fine and really thick. Um, and it just gives the drawing a different quality that I really like as where this one right here, this one's a little bit stiffer. So it's kind of, uh, you can get different line widths with this one, but I really prefer this more flexible kind of brush tip. So uh, that's, kind of one thing I've, I mean, I, I honestly, I think I could use both of them for different reasons. Sometimes it's hard to get the detail with this more flexible brush one, but uh, yeah, anyway. I uh, like these poses a lot. These are, our, this one's from my head and I love this pose up here because it's, it's very natural, but still dynamic. You can see her, she's looking up, you're looking up at her. Uh, this page is a great page for me because I feel like a lot of these could be cells or scenes in a comic book, and these are all from my head. So this one, actually, I referenced. Uh, so these ones, the, this one's over there from my head. But I feel like I, I, the more consistent I can draw natural poses from my head and, and quickly, uh, that'll make drawing a comic book much easier. Uh, which is, you know, something, I, it's kind of like a life goal. One of these days, I'll put the time in and try and just do, I thought about one thing uh, in doing a comic book, I, I might just take some panels from an already created comic book, uh, a couple pages and just redraw them in my style, just copy the story and stuff like that and just copy uh, everything, but just do it from my, you know, as best I can. Uh, and I think that would really tell me where I'm at. Uh, it's just comics take a ton of time. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's the sketchbook. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, superheroes, I'll probably keep doing these. Um, this is just, especially the pen and ink stuff, um, really enjoying it right now. But you know me, I bounce back and forth and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching.